This is a quick tip to show you how you can remove the noise from an image or photo that you've taken uh, using Adobe Bridge and opening camera rule. So this is Adobe Bridge, comes with the Adobe Creative Suite and uh, here's a picture, I've clicked on it, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to open in camera rule. This is originally, as far as I know, designed for raw images that you take with your camera, surprisingly. But you can also use it on other formats, JPEGs and TIFFs, providing they don't have layers or any other sort of effects applied to them. So here I've got an image, it's not a particularly good image, it's um, taken on quite a, a cheap camera, the quality's uh, not great, the lighting's not good, in general it's not a good photo, but we can make it look better by removing some of this noise. Um, also you might find if you have a photo and you're, I'm just going to use this fill light option, and you're adjusting the light and um, increasing you know, various other colour alterations, that can also increase noise in an image. So anyway, let's zoom back in. I've lightened it a bit there, which is also going to highlight the awful sort of noise we've got on this picture. So I'm going to go to this um, detail section, and down here we've got a noise reduction section. And the first thing I'm going to cover is this colour option, generally the first one that I'll use. And um, what this is going to do is almost desaturate the speckly, I don't know if you can see that there, best view this video in HD so you can. Um, it's almost like a rainbow effect all across the noise here and it's very distracting from the actual colour of the image. So I'm going to ramp this up all the way up so you can see the effect. And you should have noticed, I'll switch the preview off there and then on again. You should have noticed a lot of colour was removed from there. If you didn't notice that, perhaps try it with your own pictures that have a lot of noise and you will see a difference. And in general it makes the image a little bit cleaner and it keeps the colours sort of truer to how they originally were. But you can go a bit too far with that. It can remove quite a lot of um, detail in certain areas. It tends to remove the saturation. So um, obviously experiment with that. And you can adjust the amount of detail you want to keep. So if I turn that all the way up, you're probably going to start to see... Mm, not really much actually, but generally it will increase a bit of the colour noise back but uh, in that case it's not really affecting it much and the second thing and uh, the most noticeable is luminance I'm going to crank this all the way up and you'll see a massive difference as you can see it's done an incredibly good job of removing the noise but it's also lost a massive amount of the detail from the picture um, this is a very effective tool but you have to be very careful with how you use it because obviously in this case you've lost a massive amount of detail so you can um, you can either knock that back to say something like 15, 20, depending on the image and depending on the, the detail of your image, the resolution of your image and things like that. Use your own judgment. Make sure you're at 100% so you can actually see what detail is being kept or lost. So um, that's not a bad compromise. I'll switch that off and now on again and you should see the subtle difference there. Also, actually, if you are using luminance, you might then also want to compensate by increasing the sharpening. Um, this can have a sort of a, it's a bit of a balancing act because as you sharpen it, you might then actually increase the grain. So it's a bit of a, you have to mess about with that. Um, but also we've got a luminance detail here. So if I up the luminance there to say 50, it's smoothed it more, but I've lost some detail, but I can bring some of that detail back by increasing the luminance detail here. You might not notice it again. Do this in HD, that should help highlight a few things. Um, so let's switch it off and on again. And it's still a bit noisy down here. That's because I've just basically cranked up the detail. If you watch around this area, I'll take the detail down and you should see it slowly becoming softer around there. So, but again, lost some of the detail. So we can compensate a bit by sharpening it up and it's actually not looking terrible. It's not a great image to begin with, so this is this is an exaggerated version of what you could do with your picture. Um, and that's pretty much it. This, A lot of grain is more noticeable in raw photos taken on uh, like um, a DSLR or something like that. But also, you know, even smartphone pictures, things like that are going to have a lot of noise or if you've taken it at night. So the best thing to do is mess about and see what you can do. Again, here was the original here is what I've just fiddled about with and if I zoom out and if I disable it you probably won't notice much on the preview here oh, actually there is a bit so you can see a bit of detail has been lost up there but does it matter in this particular photo not so much that's for you to decide so um, 
have a go, have a play with it. Um, I hope this was useful. If it was, please comment, uh, like, or if you want to see more of this sort of thing, please subscribe.